Hello fellow Photoshoppers, it is I, Mark Elmo Ellis, with another great video tutorial on Adobe Photoshop with PhotoshopTrainingForm.com, where we teach you how to clearly and concisely use Adobe Photoshop. Today we're going to look at one of the more important aspects of Photoshop, and that is how to use layers. Uh, layers are a very important part of Photoshop because they will allow you to do the most amazing things that you ever thought were possible with a graphics program. Um, to open a layer or to access your layers, go up to Window, and you can either click on F7 or click on this thing here that says Layers, and it'll open up your Layers palette. Now, the concept behind layers is as if you were laying transparencies one on top of another, okay? So imagine if you were working on a um, overhead projector and you had transparencies and you drew a circle on one and you had a X on the other and then you had a square on another. And as you laid them on top of each other, each element would appear. So you put, first put down the circle, then you put down the X or whatever, then you put down the square, right? And they would pile on top of each other and you'd have pretty soon you have a circle, an X, and a square all together. Same concept with layers. It's real easy. And in this case here, I've got an image uh, prepared. Background is almost always... Now, usually when you open a lot of images on Photoshop, they put it directly in the background. Usually your image will appear here. I think it's better to have a blank background myself, something to work on at the beginning of your... It's almost like an artist working on a blank canvas, right? And what the lock means is, is you can't move this up in the order any. So if you try to drag it up, it's not going to go anywhere. And the thing that's cool about layers is you can drag them around, as you're going to see in a second. But getting back to the basics of this, okay, you have your first layer, which is your background, which is white. And if I turn that off, there's a little eye over here on the layer. You can turn it on and off. And you may have seen this in previous tutorials that I have. Okay, so you can turn it on. And the next one, I have a piece of cheese, which is the layer on top of that. So if I turn off the background one, you'll see that there's a transparency there, right? But background is white. Cheese is on top of that. And the last one is the mouse, right? There's your mouse. So you have three layers to this. Now, as I told you before, you can't move the background around. However, you can move the cheese on top of the mouse. See that? If I just hold down this mouse button on the left mouse button and drag it either up or down, I can move the order of these. And that's pretty cool. And that's a very powerful thing about uh, Photoshop. Now, something about the layers palette you should know uh, itself, the layers palette can be extended and you can add as many layers as you want. You know, I've, I've had... 20, 30 layers on here at one time. So it's it's not unusual to have that. So don't worry about it too much. The only problem is that you got to keep track of it. Now, one of the easier ways to keep track of what you have is to actually name the layer that you're working on. Okay? So, and an easy way to do that. Now, you can't do this uh, the same way on the background. I'm going to show you why in a second. But on layer 2 and layer 1, because there's a lock on this, right? See that lock? Okay, so on layer one and layer two, I want to change the names of these so that I know what they are, you know, just by glancing at them on the layers palette. Because we may have switched these off for a reason, and I want to know where they are, right, uh, in the lineup. Let's say I was just going to work on cleaning up the mouse or I was going to move it around or something, right? Then I could, you know, I could work on it that way. And I'll be able to just glance at this. Because if you've got like 10 or 15 things lined up here, it's going to get kind of confusing. So what you can do is you can go in here and you see where it says layer two. I'm going to double click on that. And you'll notice that you can change the wording on it. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to put in, and there you go. I misspelled cheese, how to change it. Okay, and now I'm going up to layer one. Hopefully I know how to spell mouse. So type in M-O-U-S-E. And you can click enter, and there you go. Now you can see what you're working with here. You've got your cheese, and then you've got your mouse. Now you can change the properties of the background. Uh, just because also you see a locker doesn't mean you can't do anything to the background because I can go down here to the background layer. Let me turn these other two off. And I'll show you just the power of this whole thing here. And let's say, for example, I want to put a squiggly line across here, right? Okay, I'm just goofing this around. You can actually draw on the background. Now watch what happens. I want to turn on the cheese, and I want to turn on the mouse. I have changed my background, see? Okay, but I wanted to show you one other thing here. Let's say that I wanted to change the background. I wanted to be able to move my background. Let's say I'd colored it a certain way. I'd given it some uh, 
interesting colors. So I wanted to move it around. Maybe I wanted to move it up in the order or whatever. Um, so I'm going to color the background here, green color, right? Okay, we got the green on. Got our mouse going. So we got our three layers. You got your mouse, cheese, background. Now let's say I wanted, to, I did want to move my background up for some reason or whatever. You double click on the background and then you can change the name of that. I'm just going to give it BG, BG for background and hit OK. So there you go. Now I've got BG. Now I can move that up and cover everything up if I want to. I can cover up both the mouse. I can cover up the mouse with cheese. Move the cheese down here. I can rearrange it any way I want to. So getting back to where I was originally, there we go. And that's just that easy. And that's the power of this whole thing. Now there's all these effects and things on here. We're going to be learning about those in the next couple of video tutorials on how to use layers. And so stay tuned because this whole block of information is going to be on how to use layers and all the basics that go along with it. This has been Mark Elmo Ellis with PhotoshopTrainingForum.com where we teach you how to clearly and concisely use Adobe Photoshop. God bless and have a great day.